Hey guys, it's Corey Mason. This is my Humanities 101 final project. In my final project on Christianity, I believe uh, in the past years the world has become more against Christian the Christian belief. Um, I've picked five art pieces that tells about the Christian belief. Uh, a lot of people in today's age are so are against Christians because of the way the media tells about us. Um, the first is The Last Supper. Uh, it's created around uh, 1495. It's one of the most popular Christian paintings known. Um, this painting represents the scene of the Last Supper in which uh, was Jesus and his disciples, as told in John 13, 21. The painting occurred uh, when Jesus announced to uh, his 12 disciples that one of them would betray him. Um, it's very moving. Um, they're all questioning, well, how does he know and um, whatnot. So I really like this painting. The next is the crucifixion, painted in 1610. It's the ultimate sacrifice. Uh, for mine and your sins, um, the uh, this is the only way that we are saved now. Um, is if we believe that Jesus died for our sins. Um, before this moment, there was no saved. People would um, do annual offerings of sacrifice to the temple. Um, people cursed this, uh, cursed him. Um, told him that if you know if he was who he really was. Uh, he could save himself um, as they lashed out at him, um, stoned him, hit him with hit him with whips, uh, and finally he was uh, taken down and buried. And three days later, he rose again. Um, Michelangelo's David, uh, sculpted in fifteen oh four. Um, he was a believer of, of God. Um, David was the man that d defeated God Goliath, and without God's help, uh, probably wouldn't happen. Um, originally created to be a series, uh, to be one of the series of statues, uh, positioned among the roof line of the Florence Cathedral. The statue was placed instead outside the Palazzo in Florence, where it was unveiled 8, uh, 8 September 1504. Because of the nature of the, uh, of the hero it, it re represents, the statue soon became a uh, symbol of defense of the civil liberties among the Republic of France and independent states threatened all of all on the sides by more powerful rival states um, France was little bitty little bitty place um, uh, Florence sorry Florence was a little bitty place back uh, back in the day and, and uh, they were just a little guy and they always got picked on um, and they were never defeated uh, the Bible is my next piece. Um, it's a good piece of literature. Uh, it speaks the word. It's one hundred percent true, man. Um, it was the first. The first translation was in fourteen hundred before Christ, and the last translation tra translation um, was written in two thousand two. Uh, it's the NIV version probably most known to people a lot of days today. There's 438 translations today. 66 books inside the um, inside this one book. Um, the estimated top seller over 5 million copies widely considered the best selling book of all time. Um, it's it's you know it's split up between New Testament and Old Testament, which is you know the Old Testament is when before Jesus and New Testament was after Jesus. Um, a lot of different people down this book. 
say that it's not true. Uh, a lot of uh, professors say that it cannot happen, but um, you know this is the truth. Um, everything in this is true. Everything in this happened. Um, it's the way I believe. It's the way Christians believe. And this, I mean, if you if you read this book, it, you can be amazed by the stories um, that's in it. I don't think that you have to go to church every Sunday, but um, if you read this Bible, it is it, it, this is the way to Christianity. This is the way to being saved and knowing God better. Better. My final piece is Michelangelo's 16th Chapel. This piece is amazing. This building is crazy. How awesome it is! Um, first started in 1508 to and. He stopped about 1512 and started back again at 1535 to 1541. Uh, it's in Vatican City. Uh, many different stories. Um, the uh, many different stories. The, uh, Book of Genesis, the creation of Adam is in it. It's the best known. Um, the downward fall of Adam and Eve were. Uh, in the Garden of Eden, um, there's another painting. This is when God told Adam not to eat the fruit from the tree, but he did anyways. Once Adam ate the fruit, his eyes were open and realized he was naked, and so was Eve. And that's when it just it just fell from there. Sin. Uh, they you know, didn't go. He didn't follow what God said. Uh, so. From there, it's downward fall. We all have sinned ever since. Uh, if he just wouldn't ate it, would have been would have been good, man. Um, another another few stories is the creation of Eve, uh, the creation of the, when God divides the waters of the earth, and the great flood. Um, if you just look at all, if you get a chance to ever just go and Google this this place, uh, lots of paintings that put. Put imagine of what the biblical stories might have looked like. Um, it's a really good place. I hope to go see it one day um, in person. Well, that is the end. Um, hope y'all liked it, um, and God bless. Thank you.